Vanessa, tell us a little bit about what they're coming up with. Yes, well, they just unveiled a concept uh, form of the SUV at the Geneva Car Show this past week, and it really was the buzz, or is still the buzz of the show. Um, it's not decided whether they will uh, uh, go ahead with production for sure, but it looks pretty certain. Um, it's essentially what you would expect expect perhaps the Queen uh, of England to be driving as she's going through the African outback. Um, now that looks like a lot like the Porsche flush. Cayenne, by the way, as, as we're looking at photos, it looks like a lot like the Porsche. Like yes, from well, the, the C ben Bentley CEO, Wolfgang Durheimer, he was the development chief at Porsche, and Porsche is clearly the model for him in thinking about expanding Bentley's line. Uh, Porsche did the, exactly the same thing with the Cayenne, which it came out with a few years ago, and that is now making up half of Porsche's sales. So right. clearly that is the recipe he's looking at. And, and Vanessa, how are you going to convince soccer moms that they need a Bentley? Well, uh, they're going to need a lot of money to afford this Bentley. Uh, this Bentley could easily exactly? cost north of $180,000. No. How, how does that compare to it? Bentleys can, can get a lot more expensive than that, right? That's not too much. Sure, but to drop the kids well, off they at, pay you a lot of money to drop the kid to drop the kids off at middle school, one eighty. Yes, it's it's the one percent of soccer moms who will be driving this and, Bentley. And, and this one, you mentioned some of the features that it, that come with this Bentley. Let me read some of these. So, it comes with its own cutlery, built built in <laughs> I, built in iPads for every 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 passenger, uh, diamond quilted seats, and, and a pull out awning. Did yes, yes. Right? Well, when I spoke to the uh, interior design chief of Bentley at the show, uh, he was envis en envisioning one could set up a, a fairly elaborate tailgate party. Um, to watch a polo match or a shoot, uh, but I think it could also work quite well at the Rose Bowl. Yeah. And Vanessa, how many cup holders? How many cup holders? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the question <laughs> I ask every time I look at a car. Yes, I, I think it's more of a tray than a cup holder, um, and and a champagne compartment, uh, champagne cooler champagne compartment. compartment as well. And by the way, Vanessa, you mentioned also that. Bentley isn't the only ultra luxury car maker coming out with a new SUV. You, Lamborghini and, and maybe even Ferrari are also coming out with them? Right. Well, Ferrari just last year came out not with, the, out with an SUV, but a, I, you could say a family sized Ferrari. It's still a sports car, but it's the kind of sports car you could ride in with your wife or husband and your two kids. It has enough room and um, with something in the back. Uh, and it was clearly designed to bring new customers to Ferrari and and all of the very high end super luxury car makers are looking at doing some of the same thing. Lamborghini um, is widely anticipated to unveil some sort of concept SUV as well next year uh, or next month I should say at the Beijing Auto Show. Um, Maserati is building an SUV actually on a grand uh, cheap car uh, uh, on a Jeep platform, since both are owned by Fiat. Let's let's and, get one more uh, look at it here uh, while you're talking. Sorry, we were just get putting getting one more look at at the car while you're talking to give viewers a, a look at it. Yes, and so all of the luxury makers are are thinking about doing this or already doing this, and I, clearly the model is again Porsche, which these days sells some sports cars, but it sells a lot more. That's amazing, SUVs half of their sales. Sedans. That's, that's amazing. I, I remember when, when people were criticizing them for that because it was such a, a departure for them. But Vanessa, thank you so much for, for joining us to tell us about this.